the golf study is a health is a health study uh, for and about workers who had something to do with cleaning up after the Deepwater Horizon disaster in April of 2010. Um, so this study was designed to address a need to understand what the long and short term health effects might be for people who are involved in the oil spill cleanup. The Gulf study is intended to answer the questions that, that workers and their families want answers to. And so this is an opportunity for workers to share their stories and, and um, contribute to our understanding of what the health effects might be. The Gulf study is being sponsored by the National Institutes of Health. The National Institutes of Health is the premier biomedical research organization of the federal government. The National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, which is where I work, is one of those National Institutes of Health, and we are leading the research effort. The Gulf study is intended to answer the questions that, that workers and their families want answers to. And so this is an opportunity for workers to share their stories and, and um, contribute to our understanding of what the health effects might be. Who is eligible to participate in this study? People are eligible to be part of the Gulf study if they spent any time working on the cleanup effort, if they supported the cleanup effort by providing food service or transportation, and they're even eligible if they took the training, the safety training that re was required to be part of the cleanup effort, but ended up not working. When did you all become involved? Yeah. So uh, my institute became involved in uh, thinking about the health effects of people involved in the cleanup in um, the summer, in June, uh, several months after the oil spill. The director of my institute, Dr. Francis Collins, was concerned that attention wasn't been being paid to health, and he challenged our institute to think about what, what next steps ought to be, and we proposed a long-term study of cleanup workers, and he thought that was a great idea, and within, with only a matter of days, we were involved. When did you become interested in Louisiana? So my institute's been in, interested and involved in, in with Louisiana since the very beginning of the oil spill. Within days of the spill, we had a team of a team from our institute down here developing the safety training program, and we are responsible for developing the programs that trained over 150,000 oil spill cleanup workers. Louisiana is very important. One of the uh, largest groups of cleanup workers do come from Louisiana, and in fact, they come from the communities that touch the Gulf of Mexico. The National Institutes of Health and my research team are very interested in this community. We have been talking with workers who are involved in the oil spill cleanup and in com with community members, and we would we are, have designed our studies so that we can address the kinds of questions that the community needs answers to. These are the questions that they want us to answer. Who are you trying to reach with your study? The Gulf study is trying to reach just about anybody who had any connection with the oil spill cleanup effort. We're interested in people who did um, work actually in, that involved cleaning up from the oil spill, the people who supported the effort, and we're also interested in reaching out to people who took training because they hoped to work on the oil spill cleanup but perhaps never got hired. The most important pe thing that people can do is if they took part in the Gulf cleanup efforts, to make that call. They should call our toll-free number, they can go to our website to find out more about how to join the study, and they should tell their friends and neighbors, other people who worked on the oil spill study, what they've learned about the importance of sharing their stories and being part of this larger effort to answer the questions that, that communities need to have answers to. We currently know very little about what the long-term health effects of being exposed to oil and other chemicals as part of an oil spill cleanup. And so the information that we learn from this study will be very important in guiding f communities and um, other planners in the future so we know how to protect future generations from potentially harmful effects of oil spills. We have been getting a terrific response and reception. We've been meeting with government officials and community leaders and workers themselves, and, and people truly are interested in the study. They want to be part of the study. 
Um, and when we call out to people who we know were in, this, were, um, in the cleanup effort and invite them to join the study, their response rate has been tremendous. But we have a long way to go, and we really need people to make that call to call into our toll-free number and sign up for the study. We have a very ambitious goal. We want to enroll 50,000 people who worked in the oil spill. And we know we can get there in the next 12 months, but we can only do that if people uh, make that call today. It's very important that we hear the story of everybody who was involved in the oil spill cleanup if we're going to get the answers to the questions that need to be answered. The um, information that we collect is, is kept strictly confidential. We do not share it with anybody. We don't even share the information of who is participating in the study. All of our reports are summary reports. It, we cannot learn um, how the oil spill affects communities unless every person who was involved in the oil spill takes part in our study. It's very simple. People need to make the call. We encourage everybody who took part in the oil spill cleanup effort, and including those who trained but maybe didn't work, to call us. It's a toll-free number. They can call us today. They can complete the study interview today, or we can set up an appointment and do this at their convenience. We do want to hear from everybody. We would like to do this in a relatively short amount of time, and we need everybody's help. The privacy of the individuals who participate in the study is very important to us. We do everything that we can to keep the data confidential. We will not share this information with anyone. We uh, produce summary reports for the study. We're so concerned about privacy that we have applied for and received something called the Certificate of Confidentiality, which further strengthens our ability to keep the information safe and private.